Kayla Bay and welcome to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to film, edit, all on your phone. Not only that, also how to get that overhead shot so you can get that perfect tutorial, that food picture, that art picture, whatever you're trying to do, whatever is clever. Some DIY tricks and some equipment for only around 30 dollars. Now it's only right to into the video. Y'all play too much, we gotta go. Let's get into this DIY bottle hack. All you're gonna need is some rocks, crystals, rice, anything for weight in the water bottle, some scissors, an empty water bottle, and a marker. So now you just wanna take your marker and we're gonna do a line around three inches and we're gonna curve it slightly down. So let me just show you what I mean. It's best to do it, do the little box that we're gonna draw a bit smaller and then make it bigger as we go. So I just curved the marker slightly down, if you can see. Slightly down. Let me try, let me try the red marker. Okay, this works. Why would I put a blue marker on a blue bottle? Oh my God. So slightly curved around. And then we're gonna do a box. Not too big. And just about a half an inch down. Nothing too crazy. And trust me, this is nothing perfect. So you see you have a slight slant down. Boom, really nothing crazy guys. I'm gonna take my scissors, be very, very careful with this. Like I don't want y'all getting hurt and blaming me cause <laughs> sis, I don't need that. Now we're just gonna, okay, so slightly graze the bottle at the end of the little rectangle we made until we could poke the scissors through. Now you could easily do this with a razor blade, but I don't wanna do that right now. I'm just gonna slightly go until it punctures a hole. And just poke a hole through so you can cut that rectangle out. So I got my hole and now I'm just gonna cut around that rectangle. Now this could work with many other bottles. I've seen it with a gallon jug before and all of that. Just work with what you have. That is the key here. So we could get started on our YouTube journey, you know? Okay, so this is what we have so far. This is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna take my phone and see how it fits in it. Let me see. Yes, perfect. Now you just push this in, push your bottle in and slide in your rocks or rice. So I'm just using a couple of crystals I have around my house. Got some rose quartz, some amethyst, and that's all you do. Just get something that can provide some weight. Now the weight is basically so it's no tipping and shaking of your phone. Boom, and there you have it. So let's see how this looks at this level. And this is how it look on the screen at this level. So, of course, when creating something, you may need some extra room. So let's add a little, you know, height to this. So I just grabbed one of my yoga blocks. You could grab literally anything and just put it right under. And sometimes you may need to zoom in just a tad just to make sure you don't have the yoga block or the books in the way. So I'm just adding a few more books 
right at the corner, making sure that none of the books are in the way of this shot. Boom. So this is how this angle look right here with the books added. So moving into a simple tripod setup. Now all I'm using is a quick release plate from Manfrotto this phone holder that moves around 360, which is great for all kind of shots. And my Manfrotto tripod, I'll list everything below, but you could also get different kind of dupes for cheaper. But this is what I'm using because it rotates all around, which is perfect for different angles and different shots, especially that top down shot that we're looking for. So now I'm just attaching this piece right into my phone holder. And then that's going to go right into my tripod. Boom. Perfect angle. So just tighten that and moving on to setting up. So I'm just leaning one of the legs against the wall, but it could easily tip over. So what I'm going to do is just take some yarn and attach it to one of my amethyst crystals just to, for some added weight, you know, so it don't tip over, which is very important so you don't have a shaky shot. So always add weight if you're doing a tip over with a tripod, and I'll show how to do that on a regular desk. So let's see how this shot comes out. And honestly, this is probably one of my favorite setups. Press record, boom. And this is how it came out from this angle. Now you could play with the height of this because of the extension, because of the legs. You could do so many creative things once you have it tipped over with a weight. So let me show you how it is on a desk. Now this little desk is what I use for like my first five, six tutorials. It just can carry me through and it only costs about $20. Now with a table, you just put two legs on this table and extend the third leg and attach a weight so your phone or camera don't tip over. So now I'm moving into this newer phone ring light. It is so simple. It's, it was around $30 when I got it. I listed below. And I already attached my phone, but you can see it could tip over. You just grab something heavy and put it right on the base. Now you could add books, yoga blocks, whatever you want to do under it to create that height. The cool thing about this ring light, it has three settings. So it have a warm setting, LED, bright light, and one other one. And you could adjust how bright, how dark it's like a perfect ring light even for selfies so you could use this at night and don't have to worry about dealing with natural light now for some quick editing so for the editing app I chose Velo I'm not sure how do you pronounce it but that's why I'm gonna call it so this is iPhone and Android friendly so you just go download the app go into the app and now we're going to select great video. From there, just add your clip of whatever video you'll be editing. So I'm going to just choose that one. And we're going to do the 16-9 ratio for YouTube. And going to click fit. And press that arrow. Now, you see our clip is in portrait mode. All you have to do is select your clip and go to resize. And now I'm just rotated left. And I'm gonna take my two fingers and stretch out the screen. 
Now, if you have more than one clip, you'll see that at the bottom it will say apply to all and you just click that. So, going to press done. And now we have our clip. So, when you have your clip and you want to delete certain scenes, all you have to do is select where you want to delete. And click split so we split the clip up and then go to the end of the clip that you want to delete and click click split again now just click that portion that you want to delete and click delete that simple so I'm just undo that for the meantime between time and now moving on you just click done So once you go through your clip, splitting and deleting what needs to be deleted, you can go ahead and add your text or captions or whatever you need to do. So just select caption and then you have different ones you can pick from depending if you have the free version or the paid version. I'm using the free version. So you could just double tap that and type what you need to type. So make a slip knot and then add whatever you need to add or not click this little box on your butt on the side and you can make bigger or whatnot another one you can do is just by adding text so click text I always use the basic black caption you can take your fingers and expand it and just double tap and type in what you need to type in. Super simple. This app is very user friendly. Just click the little button to the right and you can drag it along for however long you need this caption to be. So let's see. So you could have it for so the length of the clip that you need. Slip knot. Also, you can tap the text box and change the font. Let's just play around with something. American typewriter. That's done. You can change the style. Make it yellow. Do an outline as well. Have a background color. A red if we like. Add all type of shadows and make bigger or smaller and then click done. You can add animation, have the video fade in, fade out, or scale up and scale down. So many little cute creative things you can do with this free version. Click done. Now what you also can add which I do a lot in my videos is an image. So basically it's a picture in picture. Let's just select any picture and I could just put that on the side and add a little animation to where it scales up. You know, this is just a sample. So you can also do picture in picture or you could show the part you're working on in the video you're making so sometimes in my tutorials I'll show okay I'm making this section and I'll put a picture in picture so just click done with that and you could also add animations and everything with that there's also filters in this free version so you could click any filter you want click done and now you could do the opacity while well, transparency with it. How dark or light you want it. Do you want just a hint of it or not? And click done with that. So many little cute things you can do with this. So it's very user friendly. Another thing I also like to add is some background music. So that's what BGM stand for over here. So just click that. Let's just go with this chilling. So you can just check out the track. Or you 
music will go to your files or you can add your own music. Click the little check button. So now we have the background music, but the background music is probably too loud. So you just click the little box, go to audio and turn it down. So that's how you can add your background music and you can have it fade in and so fade first out. We're gonna make thing. Or you can move your clip around, your background music clip around just by dragging this little circle button and click done. You could go ahead and add stickers, little stickers or borders or you want to add a little bell where you want to say oh subscribe to my channel or whatever the case may be there's so many little cute things when it comes to this free version of this app so that's pretty much the basics of this app so once you're done with your whole video you just go to this right hand corner and you just press export and it will save right into your video or photo album. And you could leave the format as is with a high resolution and 30 frames per second. And there you have it, so simple. So I wanted to take the time out to just give you a couple of tips before starting your how-to tutorial or whatever you're doing. Number one, be yourself. That's the best thing I can tell you. A lot of people don't like my slang accent when I talk in the videos or whatever the case may be, but this is me. I'm not going to change me for nobody. You feel me? Number two, explain what you are doing. Don't assume that people already know because they search the topic or the topic just popped up on their homepage. And if your video is a, li a little bit more advanced, explain what you're going to be doing in the video. Like I'm doing X, Y, and Z. So if you need a brush up or you're a beginner, go check out this video and come right back to start the project. You get what I'm saying? And number three, just start. Please don't be like me. I created the YouTube channel in 2011, but I didn't post my first video till 2019 because I was worried about equipment, audio, how it's gonna sound, how it's gonna look. I don't have this, I don't have that. Uh, mm, uh, mm. And I didn't post my video until March 31st, 2019. Imagine if I would have started in 2011. So the best thing you could do is just start with what you have. And with that being said, peace and love always. I want to create more videos like this, so please comment below what kind of videos you need so I can help. I love to help. And I'm going to see you in my next video. <laughs> see you in my next video. Hey, see you. Y'all play so much. We got to go. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get that overhead shot on your phone so you can shoot, look, so you can shoot, what, what? So for iPhone users, not 100% sure. My phone died. What the, 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 so you can shoot tutorials, what the, what the, I can't get it, boy. When I'm with you, all I get is wild thoughts. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, stop playing. Three, two, one. What's up with the what's up? It's Adria LaVey and welcome to our channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get that overhead shot on your phone so you can shoot. What the? 